In the last few years, unit testing has become an important part of the work process of many developers. Luckily, Dart has a good unit testing story, and it's one of the reasons I like it. I've prepared a small library here. I'm going to test the Order Creator class. Order Creator depends on repository and validator. It takes a map of attributes, for instance from the view. It builds an order, validates it, and then saves it. I'm starting by adding the unit test dependency to the pubspec.yaml file of our project. Then I'm adding the test directory. Now let's create the order created test library and import the unit test library here. Done. Importing the library under test. Now let's create a file for my tests. I think I am set up. I can run it now. And though there is no output because I haven't written any tests yet. You can group similar tests together by using the group function. It takes a string and a closure. Groups can be nested. For instance, here I am creating a group called integration tests inside the order creator group. Inside a group body, you can register setup and tear down handlers. Those will be called before and after each test accordingly. In this example, my setup handler creates an instance of order creator. I'd like to start with a very simple test. Verify that order creator returns the created order. Assertions in the Dart unit test library are expressed using the expect function. It takes an actual value and a matcher. There is a wide variety of standard matchers available in the unit test library. For instance, you can check that an exception is supposed to be thrown. If none of the standard matchers seem to work for you, you can define your own by extending the base matcher class or implementing the matcher interface. Of course, for this particular case, comparing to others would make more sense. Let's run our tests, and they are green. To recap, Dart has a solid testing library. You can group similar tests together. The library has a wide variety of standard matchers you can use. And defining your own matchers is straightforward. Next time we are going to talk about using mocks and spies. Thanks for watching.